Welcome to Advanced Data Structures and Algorithms by Devashish Ray Chaudhary, a course by Pact Publishing. I am Todd Heppenstall and I will be the presenter of this course. Debashish Ray Chaudhary is an established Java developer and has been in the industry for the last eight years. He has developed several systems, right from CRUD applications to programming languages and big data processing systems. Currently, he is leading a team developing a new high-performance structured data storage framework to be processed by Spark. The framework is named Hungry Hippos and will be open sourced very soon. He also blogs at geekyarticles.com about Java and other computer science related topics. Let's look at the overview of the course. When it comes to learning algorithms, it is best to use the language that one is most comfortable with. This means that it makes a lot of sense to write an algorithm with the implementations written in Java. This course covers the most commonly used data structures and algorithms. It is meant for people who already know Java but are not familiar with algorithms. The course should serve as the first stepping stone towards learning the subject. The first section, Efficient Sorting, Quick Sort and Merge Sort, introduces the two most popular and efficient sorting algorithms. The section also provides an analysis of why this is as optimal as a comparison-based sorting algorithm can ever be. After that, Concepts of Tree introduces the concept of a tree. It especially introduces binary trees and also covers different traversals of the tree, breadth first and depth first, and pre-order, post-order and in-order traversal of binary tree. The next section, More About Search, Search Trees and Hash Tables, covers search using balanced binary search trees, namely AVL and red-black trees and hash tables. Following that, Advanced General Purpose Data Structures introduces priority queues and their implementation with a heap and a binomial forest. At the end, the section introduces sorting with a priority queue. Then, Concepts of Graph introduces the concepts of directed and undirected graphs. Then it discusses the representation of a graph in memory. Depth first and breadth first traversals are covered, the concept of a minimum spanning tree is introduced, and cycle detection is discussed. The last section, Reactive Programming, introduces the viewer to the concept of reactive programming in Java. This includes the implementation of an observable pattern based reactive programming framework and a functional API on top of it. Examples are shown to demonstrate the performance gain and ease of use of the reactive framework compared with a traditional imperative style. This course will help viewers to explore advanced data structures in Java. Different sorting methods, data structure concepts and reactive programming are the takeaways of the course. To run the examples in this course, you need a computer with any modern popular operating system, such as some version of Windows, Linux or Macintosh. You need to install Java 9 in your computer so that Java C can be invoked from the command prompt. So, let's begin this journey together, and I hope to see you there.